Has there ever been a time in our relationship where you thought to yourself like, damn, this bitch smokes a little bit too much weed or she smokes a lot of weed or whatever it is. I mean, okay, brutally honest, probably. That's, that's interesting. Oh, believe it or not, I like really tried with this makeup, but now that I'm seeing it with all the light, I'm like, everything is off. You switch the pigment of one part of my face. I don't know what to match it to, I'm lost. Hello and welcome back, you beautiful nerds, to another edition of a video on this little corner of the internet. I'm so glad to have you here. Now, if you haven't checked out part one of this series, I would go ahead and back that thing up because it's good for you. And also because, <clears throat> well, I gave up weed for you. It's not true, I gave up weed for myself, but still, a bitch can, a bitch, a bitch, but before we get to giving up the ganj and all that entails, I must address the new eye makeup look that I've got. This is not eye makeup. Hmm. Uh, this is a, a bona fide shiner that I got after I lost a fight with a lamp. Patrick and I were doing sexy wrestling. <laughs> Who are you telling this to? <laughs> and the lamp fell on my face. <laughs> It's actually this lamp, you see, projecting that pretty light on the back. Okay, well, enough of this nonsense. Let's get back to giving up the ganj. Hello, it's me. Welcome to my nighttime skin routine. Wow, I look like a demon. I'm still not feeling 100%, but I'm glad you're here. Let's share this moment together. When you do these things, at least I saw a TikTok about this, you wanna make sure that your little dropper never hits your face because then you're bringing bacteria back into the bottle. It's a lot to think about, you know? If you can't tell, I'm a high. Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to judge myself about being a failure this week because I do. I kind of feel like there's just so much going on with getting really sick and I'm also trying to do my best. Trying to do my best. And I just feel like this week was a big setback. You see, sweet internet friend, if you watched part one, I, I didn't leave you in a promising spot. The week of March 22nd was the first week of the challenge and it also was the week I got my first dose of the dolly. I was experiencing lots of like butt distress. I haven't eaten food since like, what, when, what time did we have breakfast? Like noon. And what time is it now? Like 7.30. I don't really feel connected to my hunger anymore. And I'm just lying here feeling so weak and tired. I'm like, I wanna cry and I want ramen, but I also didn't work out today. So I feel like I don't deserve the ramen because I didn't work out today. What is but that? I'm so no. hungry when I just want some salty noodles. It's Saturday night. <laughs> because you're hungry. When you eat the ramen, you won't be <laughs> sad or hungry anymore. Let's order ramen. I don't feel hungry though. I'm just really tired. I could go to sleep. So I ended up smoking just so I could get food down and be able to do things, you know, because I'm a bitch who has things to do. I needed to smoke in order to eat and I needed to eat in order to perform. Try not to judge myself. I was a large week and I'm trying to demonstrate self-love, but also showing myself a little grace here. We're still in a personal pan pizza. Like we're in the middle of a Panda Express and things are changing rapidly every day. And um, I think we're doing a great job at surviving. Smoking a little weed and rubbing in my skin creams and listening to my podcast. It's self-care, bitch. This is what self-care looks like right now, okay? My plan is not to smoke tomorrow. You got this. We got this, okay? So what are some behaviors for you that you maybe you've acquired during the pandemic that once this Pangea is over with, we're gonna have to wind back? I spent a lot of the pandemic at home with my family because my mom has cancer. Mm -hmm. And I've been having her dope Colorado cancer weed and it's insane. It's a quarter would like knock me on my ass for an entire night. And now I'm at the point where like over the span of a night, I can eat like half of one, but I'm kind of like barely just a little bit high most of the time. And that's not okay with me. I'm like, no, I don't want to like have to consume more. I've said I've just been in like hibernation mode. Like I have gone into low energy preserving fat storage energy saver mode um so i think that i it has been recently like in the last month or so of like everyone getting their vaccines and more and more things opening up that it has hit me just like oh the day-to-day -day habits that i've made like aren't gonna fit the day-to-day -day world that it used to be <laughs> and i think a lot of people want that to be that like people want to go back to that so i don't think that like there's going to be this resurgence of people going back into the workforce like stoned all day hello we are driving to haven 
Typically when I go to Haven, I have this kind of routine. I drive, I listen to the music or the podcast I like. It's kind of like a wind down, wind up for my dance time. And then once I get there, I park the car and I hot box. I smoke a joint for about 10 minutes and then go in and enjoy my time. Obviously today I'm not gonna be doing that. This is gonna sound a little embarrassing, but whatever, we've been in a personal pan pizza. So this is gonna be the first time in about a year, more than that, where I have gone to do pole dancing sober. I haven't done my favorite activity, so in a while. So I just did a thing. I watered the plants, which is usually an activity I do while smoking weed, and I didn't smoke weed. And you know what? I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the same. Yeah, I know. This is my vlog. Well, this is what I read on our leaves, that this was going to be the most challenging part of giving up the ganj. By that I mean, I was in the habit of doing so many things high that when I tried to do them sober, it felt like I was missing something. Like my anxious brain would tell me, you're not gonna enjoy X thing as much if, you, if you're not high. And this, my beautiful nerds, is something that I bookmarked in my brain. In those first two weeks, I discovered a real reluctance to do the activities that used to bring me so much joy. And if this was the only fact to get me to wind back my weed habits, I, it would still be effective. I'm gonna liken it to like, you know when you start working out again for the first time in a while? Those first couple days back in the gym, it just sucks. Like everything sucks. Everything is hard. You can't do the things that you are used to doing, which means I can no longer be in the habit of getting high in order to do these things. Because it takes time. It takes time to like sever yourself from that ritual. Also in the last couple of weeks, I started doing little midday smokes when I'll get frustrated with, or impatient with emails. I'm like, okay, Freddie, you're annoyed. Let's take a couple puffs, relax. Mm -hmm. That annoyance just melts away and I'm able to continue with my day. So now, you know. That's, that's, that's when it starts. Cause you know, you, you and I get annoyed. You and I get real annoyed and like, you just start hitting the weed and you're like, it's okay, I can handle this. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. So just general function <laughs> has just helped me to just generally function, which has been, Probably, I'm definitely gonna have to wind back on like dabbing before 10 a.m. I'm aware of it, but um, I don't feel safe going to Chili's yet, so I'm not gonna address this problem until we get there. Until we can, until I can go to Chili's before 10 a.m. It's one of those baby back ribs. One debt to society later. Now I had a comment on my last video that basically expressed how whiny and privileged I was for being an American talking about my weed habits because quite frankly, our weed habits are quite relaxed in comparison to other cultures in the world. You're absolutely right. It's fucking crazy that I can sit here in my comfy apartment and speak so cavalierly about smoking weed where thousands upon thousands of black and brown Americans are sitting in a jail cell for doing exactly what I'm doing here in my house. But here's some good news. Evanston, Illinois has become the first city in this nation that is repurposing the tax sold against weed products for reparation payments to their black citizens. There are so many good things that we could be doing off of the money we collect from weed products if we just wipe away the stigma that the Nixon administration placed on it. Oh yeah, we have to release and pardon anyone serving time for possession of marijuana. Let's, let's actually just start there. Also, as I mentioned in earlier videos, but it's important to bring it up again, I donate all of the money that I make off of views that I get from weed content on this channel to the last prisoner project and the NAACP. So that means your attention on this video is actually doing a world of good. Thank you. Even if you're hate watching this, you're doing good. So thank you. Hate watch all you want, bitch. The money's still going to a good place. I mean, I hope you're not hate watching because um. Last night, I dreamt that I was traveling with a group of kids, almost like a school group. They also worked with me. Again, it's undefined, it's dream logic. And one of the gals I was traveling with was like a 17 year old and the pilot was like weirdly interested in her and kept putting the plane on autopilot. Of course, this is a dream plane. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into more detail about explaining this dream because explaining your dreams to other people is inherently boring. But I will say like the feeling of having an older man interested interested in a 17 year old who I'm in charge of is still in my system. Like I still feel like vigilant, <sighs> you know? Like it's weird to shake this off. It makes me wonder like how much processing my brain is not doing when I go to bed high. Weed prevents you from dipping into like your full REM sleep, so they say. The dreams I've been having since I've quit smoking is just, it's like my brain is in overdrive just trying to process a bunch of stuff, process my day. And I, it makes me wonder like, am I not doing that when I smoke weed? Is this good? 
good for me. Also like, what the fuck is going on? Why do you dream more when you take a step back from weed? I'm sitting here in my bra editing and this would be typically some, a time where I would smoke weed and edit at the same time because believe it or not being on high helps me keep my focus. I usually just like zone in. I'm noticing right now that I'm a little bit more distracted. So I just, I actually, I had no idea that weed helps me tune in as much as it does. I mean, I knew that, but like, wow, I'm kind of feeling the effects right now. But I'm not gonna give up, we're not gonna give up. In weeks two and weeks three, I started realizing that I could not focus as well as I used to. Things where I used to just spark up and do now started piling up and haunting me. I, I've always considered myself excellent at execution. Like I can plan something and execute it. In week two or three, I realized that I was hitting a wall. So I talked to my therapist who shall remain anonymous on this channel because bitch, I can't share everything. And I said, hey, I'm having a really hard time keeping my focus on certain tasks. And she said, huh. Have you ever been tested for ADHD? <laughs> because I am very type A. I mean, I have calendars for my pussy and my BMs. If I don't follow my plans through, I take it personally and internalize that shit for days. I remember details about people that are so minute and weird that it's shocking, even to myself. Now, I haven't had an official diagnosis yet, but I did talk to a bunch of y'all on Twitter. If this came to light because I stopped smoking jazz cigarettes for a while, So it's a Saturday morning. It is 10 o'clock ish. Yeah, What's going on? We're out in the world going to get new golf clubs. Well, what happened that was different? Well, you're awake and full of energy. <laughs> Them and bigger. Usually you'd be the one trying to drag me back to bed for like lazy Saturday morning. Kitty cuddles. Kitty cuddles in bed at this point, but no. Pat wants to buy a new driver. And I love going to golf stores and just like trying stuff out and hitting balls. And I was like, take me with you. I want to go. Let's go right now. Which is exciting and also unexpected because yeah, you have a more energy than you usually have. The energy that I felt coursing through my veins was and is life changing. I can't stress this enough. I was completely functional before. I worked out four to five times a week. I remained hydrated. I was social. I took care of my parents. I did multiple jobs for a long time. I'm also a napper. Whew. I am queen bitch when it comes to napping. I love a hot 20. But recently I've noticed that my hot 20s are turning into lukewarm 40s and then sometimes a full ass hour. But now, if I do take a little napper snapper, I pop right up after my hot 20. This in my mind is another reason why I should start spacing out my green days, if you know what I mean. So it is Friday night. This would usually be a night where Ross, Stella, Pat and I, everyone's in my bubble, would be chilling, maybe having a little bit of schma and also a little bit of shmeh. They're inside of Ross's room, shmeh, you know? I was sitting in there with them. It's not like I smell the weed smoke and I'm like, ugh, I must smoke. But it is weird, you know, I was sitting in the circle and Pat passed me the bong and I had to be like, no. Which I swear, I think I've never said no before. <laughs> So that felt weird. But yeah, I'm surprised because like, I'm not like scratching at the door. I'm not trying to like smoke. I feel fine. In fact, I have a lot more energy on a Friday night than I usually do. I finally feel like I'm able to see the good side of giving up weed where I'm like, oh yeah, hmm, no more energy. This is nice. Already my relationship with weed has changed. Like this challenge was bookended by my vaccine and I was sick as a dog on 420, which was not the plan. And for once, I didn't want weed. Now, will I still be a weed smoker? Yes. Why? because I like it. Either way, I hope this video inspires you to take a really non-judgmental look at your habits that you may have acquired during this lockdown. Maybe it's not weed, maybe it's reality television or online shopping or smelling your own farts. I don't know what you freaks are into. The fact of the matter is the world is not far from opening up and when it's open again, we're gonna be back in this bitch. And right now we have the power to choose what habits we wanna modulate as we enter back into society. Just remember, there's a lot of interesting, beautifully, new nuanced gray area in between the black and white and don't be afraid to live there. All right, I love you, you beautiful nerds. Hang in there and I'll see you next week.